Hi folks, Irish Trekkie coming to you with another quick video on Star Trek Discovery. I've had a few days to kind of process the information that has come out, the trailer and some of the information surrounding the trailer, along with all of your great comments on my previous video. Now I've just, after recording a podcast with my good colleague, the Trek Collector, along with Geekology and Soundwave as well, where we mull over Star Trek Discovery and give all our own unique perspectives on it. So do check out that podcast when it hits very, very soon. But I decided to throw together a quick little video just to kind of sum up what I feel and maybe share some thoughts and uh, some feedback on some of the comments you've left on the previous video. Now, there's been a lot of debate, let's say, about this trailer. Um, it didn't have the spit and polish that we would have expected but there does seem to have been a bit of a rush getting it out there getting it in onto youtube from san diego comic-con but you know let's give them a bit of a break on that um it did kind of come out as a bit of left field but let's just let's just look at the trailer in itself now obviously it doesn't answer a lot of questions. It creates more questions than it does answer. Okay. And looking at the reviews and in my previous video with the comments, uh, a lot of people generally didn't like it. Okay. The information that we had coming into this was that it's going to be a progressive show. Um, we know that it wasn't going to be set between Undiscovered Country and TNG. But... That could have had it set prior to it or post TNG as well. So it did, it again didn't give us a lot of information, <laughs> to be honest with you. And everything that we see here isn't final, to be honest with you. Uh, so again, the feedback from the fans could be taken into consideration. Again, there's a lot more spit and polish that needs to go to, through uh, the information that we see here as well. So again, a lot of this is subject to change. But let's actually have a look at the trailer, really. Now, one commenter on a previous video said this could possibly be a tribute to uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Again, we have Star Trek Discovery, we have the eclipsing sun and so on and so forth. But it transitions down into an asteroid dockyard. Now, I've just brightened up this here as well, just to kind of give you a sense of detail here. We have this kind of oval surround uh, with what appears to be you know obviously lights but possible shield generators or power source or so on and so forth and then encompassing um the shipyard basically and we can see some struts in the ship silhouette there now here we have ralph Macquarie's concept art from planet of the titans now this was pre the motion picture but you can see those rings are there, we have the asteroid dock, we have the internal scaffolding or struts as well. And you can see the prototype or concept art of what the Enterprise could have been at the time as well. So you'd have to be blind to not see the similarities here. Now, the styling of the ship is quite retro, but it's hard to say when this is going to be set. Like... We had three Bazaar collectors with some caps on here. They're quite large nacelles as well. And a very unique departure from the normal Starfleet ship that we've seen. But again, compare that to Ralph Macquarie's design. And you can see some of the lineage is there in all of its glory. Now, is this a shuttle bay that we see at the back? Um, what's the purpose of this ship? Is it a carrier? Is it an assault ship? Is it an exploration ship? Again, it, there's more questions than it answers, to be honest with you. And to me, the scale of the ship looks quite large as well. Now, there's a bit of a nod in my mind. When you look at the saucer section, we have a good old traditional saucer section here. But the detailing there on the inner ring, I think, is a pretty big nod to the USS Franklin from Star Trek Beyond. And then we see it emerging with this unique silhouette. Like that drive section is a bit crazy. And to be honest with you, I think people's initial reactions were, oh my God, what the hell is this? But again, it's not a final design. It is subject to change. But when you look at the concept art, again, from Ralph Macquarie, again, he was, I believe he was involved, maybe just finished on Star Wars or going into Star Wars. 
So there's a lot of liken, likening this to a Star Destroyer with that kind of very substantial delta on the drive section with the Constitution style saucer slapped on top. Now, rumours abound. Um, is this a hybrid of uh, Klingon and Federation? Because when you look at the trailer, and I do suggest that you do, there is some quite interesting music here. Now, possibly reading into this a lot more than we should, but who knows, there may be clues and uh, subtle references there that uh, we should be picking up on. Now, again, we go into this in a lot more detail in the podcast, and my colleague Chris, the Trek Collector, has a in- very interesting theory about the new show that I would suggest that you check out. Wrapping up on the trailer, we do see the reveal of the name, Discovery. Now, I think that's a very powerful and very suggestive name in itself about discovering, you know, the potential of the Federation, discovering new species, discovering new technologies. It does open the door a lot to it. Now, if we go back to the initial reveal from the CBS All Access, you know, people were talking about, is this Praxis? You know, here we are, Klingon. Again, is this a Klingon hybrid ship? Possibly. Um, but also, when you keep looking here, we do see this star. And I'm kind of thinking this is Romulus. Um, we've seen a very similar image from Star Trek 2009 when the Hobus star exploded, wiping out Romulus as well. So I think there's a definite Romulan vibe going on here as well. So there could be a l- very interesting story arc uh, ahead of us. But again, I'm really reserving judgment here. Um, again, a lot of people are saying they hate it. Oh my God, this is not Star Trek. But this is a minute and 16 second video that again, I would urge you all to watch. Um, it, it, it really, as I say, it creates more questions than it answers. Um, but I'm going to reserve judgment here. But I think there's a lot of potential. And my curiosity is definitely, definitely engaged here as well. And I really would like to get a lot of answers here. But, you know, January is upon us very, very soon. We're just heading into August here as well. So we don't have a huge amount to wait. Okay. But listen, I'm curious to know about what your theories are. Uh, Let me know in the comment section below. Because, again, you know, there's a lot of questions. Let's get a bit of a debate going. But maybe, maybe I may have piqued your interest as well. And let me know when you think the show is going to be set as well. I'm very curious in that respect. But otherwise, thanks for watching. And don't forget, I will see you in the next video. Take it easy and goodbye.